Barbara? Yes? Let's ask maintenance to give this area a polish. Got it. I'll call now. Uh, there's a delivery. A delivery? No. <laughs> I was giving this address, ma'am. I need to talk to your supervisor. Got it. You stay right here. Dispatch, Steve. Your guy brought a giant wooden crate onto my loading dock. Clearly, this is a mistake you need to fix. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Well, Ricky's just going to have to put the box back on the truck. Uh, a little problem with that. Cargo space. <clears throat> 900 pounds of Spanish mackerel. OK, I'm sorry, but that's not my problem. How long till you get here? Well, I'm just over in Urbandale. Uh, so if I leave right now, be there in four hours. No. How's this? If you promise me that you come get it tomorrow, Ricky will get back here by 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I'll hold the box overnight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Wait. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Remember what you train what? for. Armani suits and run. Two Air Jordan shoes for you. Nice. Three linen shirts for free. One, two, three. 6,000 more seats. 6,000 more fans. Hurry, 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 hurry. I don't know. All those luxury suites. <laughs> you think you'll ever get out of Osborne, Shadow? Mm. Osborne. What a career. Wow. Been a Hall of Famer and a congressman. Mm. It's unbelievable. Seven. Spendy dresses sent from heaven. Ten. Caskin briefcases for men. Apples and oranges, my <laughs> friend. He really oh, tried. Oh, come on. <laughs> this Osborne is hilarious. The great Tommy Frazier. Frazier. Uh, 19 Calvin Leathers on the scene. 20. That's not funny. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. This is what you train for. Hey. I knew it! When does it happen? <coughs> you okay? Maintenance just cleaned up that area. Fucking hell. Get your ass up. So, <laughs> you think our guys are gonna move to the Big Ten like they're saying? Big Ten? Yeah, I mean, they're just chasing the, you know, mighty dollar, if you ask me. I mean, both powerhouses, of course. <laughs> but, you know, you got Oklahoma and Texas over here. But Michigan, Ohio State, over there. So good. That's centered. Mm. Just amazing. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. What do we do? Wow. Mm. <laughs> what? There we go. <laughs> Look at me. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> get the you. fuck up. I'll be just sitting there trying to will it. Like, get up. Get up. Yeah. 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 She's waiting for you. Look at me. I got no one. My parents are dead. My brother. My brother is dead. I got no wife. No kids. No friends. If I die tonight, no one would care. No, I, 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 I'm sure that you mean a lot to, you know, to a lot of, lots of people. If I died tonight, my landlord would pack up my stuff. Cinnabon would just hire a new manager. Let's go. What's the point? <laughs> he out of it. Oh, no. He's going back. What is happening? Everybody has bad days. <laughs> you felt like this? Uh, not, re not really. <laughs> no. Hey, you're not gonna tell Nick, are you? Oh, <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, no. 
Bianco. Buongiorno, ladies. How much do we get for him? I don't know, maybe 500 each. Shit, man. Maybe I just keep them for myself. I've been eyeing these Jordans. You guys enjoying yourselves? Well, hold on to that feeling, because this is it. Well, in case you forget, you transported stolen goods with a value exceeding $5,000, and the truck you used to do it was rented in Council Bluffs across state lines. You told us to rent the truck. Listen. From an interstate shipment, he up got to 10 you. years. He got you. Transportation of stolen goods, another 10 years. Sale of stolen goods, 10 years. Conspiracy to commit a federal crime. Oh, conspiracy? It was your idea. Yeah. It's called mutually assured destruction. So try to I play with me. Yeah. You go down. Try to play. Man, you don't have to threaten us. We're all friends here. Fuck off. I am not your friend. Gene Takovic, you never heard of him. The Cottonwood Mall, you don't go there. You see me coming, you cross to the other side of the street. What? We're done. Ah, uh, you goofy Say it. bitch. We're done. Well, that's a start. <clears throat> Looks like your problem is the master cylinder. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, you, you can't go anywhere looking like that. Come on inside. And Wash up. Ma. Jeffy, don't vex me. Come don't on, Gene, you can help me with the groceries. Huh, Gene? Sounds like a plan. He fell in with the bad crowd back in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, huh? <sighs> Never been. Lucky you. You're a good influence, Gene. Nippy? Oh, oh, right. You're not gonna believe this, but uh, he was with a family. Okay. There's a spot where he slipped. Does he pull a slip in Jimmy here? I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out why is he going in there? What is about to happen here, man? I don't even understand. I won't say I don't understand. Well, yeah, I don't understand the purpose of the episode. It's going to have a purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that Saul Goodman style. left that there yo so i don't have as much to say about this episode but i will say this they use symbolism a lot symbolism ever since uh you know breaking bad we know how this kind of goes right for him to look at that that shirt that tie and i could only express it as being you know something that saul would wear and for him to then lay it down but it's still like outside to where you can see it it's kind of what happened with this episode right like the his Saul Goodmanness came out for a little bit but it's because he needed to utilize it but he still has to leave it there he can't <laughs> you know what I mean he can't uh let it fully go out but uh, I will say this episode the thing I get from it is it will come into play and them even you know, basically name dropping uh, Walt um, and us all knowing they were trying to hide it, apparently, but all of us been known and uh, they just had to come right out and say it uh, so early too, um, in comparison to when they're going to be on the show. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they do that, have Walt and Jesse on there. But then the whole nebraska part what's going on there like what's going to take place now we're at the point where i don't have no theories i don't got i don't got nothing i do like the episode i like the way everything was shot um i know uh there's some people who when they watch black and white stuff they like can't watch black and white shit uh the, it's in that same sort of vein of they can't uh read subtitles right uh but I've always uh liked it like when I was growing up my father put me onto the Marx brothers and shit like that and I fucked with those those like duck soup to me is such a dope film right um except ain't no black folks that's the only thing uh you know the reason why but um but on here just the way they were using the colors and everything it was it was dope um like I said every shot they were just letting the episode talk for itself but it's going to be a thing of either this was just a little like an interlude or this means something to the story. I feel like this is going to mean something to the story because for it to take place in the second half of the last season, 
You know, I don't think they're just like, uh, well, we're just going to throw this in there. No, 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 no. I feel like uh, that guy is going to come back into play. But he had them shook. They under, they seem to have understood, hey, you're going down if y'all ever try to play with me ever again. I don't. It's mutual destruction, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, that, that episode was entertaining. I was entertained by it. I was fully into it. Like when the dude slipped and fell, I was like, oh shit. Um, but yeah, you know, next episode. Don't know what, how many, wait, that was 10. I don't even know how many episodes are supposed to be in this season. Wait, is it only two, two episodes left? Uh, I'll see next episode.